I know all of us can agree that you know, the choices we make every day have consequences. And one choice in particular, what we eat, has particular impact on the world around us. Moby is one of the best-selling electronic music artists in history that he's dedicated his life to the issue of food and particularly farming. I never expected to actually have a career as a musician. Growing up in and around New York, I was involved in like the house music world and the hip hop music world. And somehow I ended up with a record contract. I thought I was gonna spend my whole life teaching philosophy at community college. So almost every aspect of the career that I've had has been a complete surprise. My approach to animal welfare, I wouldn't say it's in keeping with any spiritual dogma. I would say that I'm a quantum mechanics loving Taoist, Buddhist, lover of Christ, Sufi. When I was 10 years old, I found a tiny baby cat in the dump. I was looking at this cat and I realized the cat had two eyes, four legs, fur, and a profoundly rich emotional life. That's when I decided that I could no longer be involved in any process that contributed to animal suffering, so that's when I became a vegan. People make the argument that it's perfectly natural for humans to eat animals, and I would say that to a large extent, physiologically, you're right, but we have created a world where nothing is natural. There are a lot of people out there who are committed meat eaters, who are profoundly offended by factory farms. You have these super sick cows and pigs and chickens forced to stand around in their own feces, and the only way they're kept alive is by being fed tons of antibiotics. So the result of that is that you have these super bugs, these bacteria that don't respond to antibiotics. Now you have kids going to hospitals who are dying of bacterial infections because we've created these super bugs on factory farms. 25% of climate change is the result of animal agriculture. 85% of rainforest deforestation is a result of animal agriculture. Probably 60% of diabetes, 50% of heart disease, 40% of California's water goes to animal agriculture. So we're here at my new restaurant, Little Pine. It's 100% organic, 100% vegan, and just opened recently here in Los Angeles, California. When I was 15, 16, 17, and I was very involved in the hardcore punk world, and part of the hardcore punk world was confrontation. So when I became a vegan, I started militantly, aggressively confronting people with my veganism. And the only thing that resulted from that was that I annoyed my friends. So I learned that if you want people to actually consider what you're saying, screaming at them is not the most effective way of communicating. As humans, we have choice. And I feel like if we're given a choice between one action that causes suffering and one action that doesn't cause suffering, it just makes sense to choose the action that doesn't cause suffering. Thoughts? Reactions? I was loosely aware before this piece about just how much antibiotics we've been and the, the long-term impacts of that. Already over 20,000 people a year die from antibiotic resistant diseases. Oh my God. And so whether or not you want to be a vegan or vegetarian, your health and the health of your family has a very powerful vested interest in this issue of factory farming. On our website, people can go and sign a petition to urging senators and congressmen to prohibit the use of antibiotics in farm animals. And that would go a long way towards helping stop this crisis.